I'm Miss Terry, and I work at the West Regional Branch of Mobile Public Library. Um, we have a monthly program here that's called Create, Play, Learn, and in that program we offer um, different activities for preschoolers and toddlers. We have gross motor, fine motor, we have sensory, and we have writing activities. And um, we always try to have some fun stuff, maybe some messy things that they might not do normally. Um, and, and um, maybe some things that you could try at home. So today, I'm, I'm showing you some things that you can try at home with things that you already have at the house or with items that you could get at the, the dollar stores or the big box stores and let them explore and create and get those brain connections going. I've also added a board to Pinterest. It's called Create Play Learn with Miss Terry and it's the, um, I'm going to have a link below that you can go to and check out different activities that you can do with your kids. They um, are having so many chances to connect their different synapses in their brain and once they get older, if they haven't used them, they're going to lose them. So it's really good to get those connections early. Um, another thing is the fine motor skills. These days we have technology and it's easy to swipe or to touch the screen so they're not building those muscles with the fine motor um, activities and so we try to offer a lot of that. Today it's paint and if anybody knows Miss Terry, Miss Terry doesn't like it messy. So painting is something fun but it's also kind of stressful for me if I get paint all over myself so but I know that it's good for the kids to be able to do so I think it's it's important that they get that opportunity and um, what I always try to keep available which I don't have with me right now are baby wipes um, because you can always get them wiped off with that um, I've got some paints here these are washable paints I try to get anything that we use here at the library to be washable because that's a good um, good thing because if they're messy, they're going to get it all over them. <coughs> Excuse me. What we've done at the library is whenever we have paint, we have paint shirts. And it's just, um, it's just a t-shirt that we took that might be a little bit bigger for the kids and we've cut right up the back, straight up the back, and then we use these binder clips to hold them together at home. You might have paint clothes for them. It might be easier to not have a paint shirt, but that's what we do here at the library. Um, it's fun for them to explore with mixing paints. It's fun painting on different things, like this is aluminum foil. This is a, a heavier index cardstock type paper, and a lot of times we'll paint on that because it's thicker. The regular paper that we um, put through our computer printers isn't heavy, and so it'll it'll soak in the paint and it'll it's just kind of messy um, there's also finger paints and there's also finger paint paper um, we we just kind of use what we can I've got um, coffee filters you can use coffee filters to hold your paint or to paint in we've got a cork that you can use to paint it's fun to try different different um, things to paint with instead of just a paintbrush. Here's um, an Easter egg. We've got Q-tips. We have little, these are craft sticks. They're not pokey at the end like a toothpick would be. They're craft sticks and they can um, paint with that. With the pom-poms, if you put them on a clothespin, it's fine motor, <clears throat> strengthening the their little motor muscles in their hand. You can put a red pom-pom with red paint or you could put a white pom-pom with any color paint or you don't have, I mean it doesn't matter. You could even probably use a cotton ball for that. You can, um, I've got these little hmm, eyedroppers, can't remember what they're called. And we, we got those off of Amazon, they're, they're disposable. And you can drip watercolor out around. 
you can use chopsticks to make a design. We also, and this is one of the favorites around here, are dot paints. This is good not only because they have to actually dot the paint because it'll tear the sponge off the end, but it's also good because they, they use the taking the cap off and taking it on and learning that they just have to dot with the paint. Um, it gives them a beginning of using paint and I also make sure it's washable, washable markers. But the paints, um, you can either put them on a plate that they can get and mess around with, and the, um, or you can put them, there are all kinds of little things that you could put them in. Another fun thing to do is to take a baggie and you add the different color paints in here close it up, I get a freezer bags so they're thicker, then I tape it with clear um, packing tape. I guess you don't have to use that, you could use whatever um, masking tape, not duct tape, probably would work better than masking tape. But then they could take it and they can mix it all without it getting all messy everywhere. You can um, put paint, take a, a lid to a, a box lid, and put marbles in it, put the paint in there, and put the paper and let them create a design that way. It's important also that they cross the, the midline. So there's a visible line in the middle of our body. <clears throat> Kids use one hand to the middle and then they start with the other hand on the other side. So to put something on their right side of the body for their left hand to pick up and paint with, and for the um, left side of the body to pick up with your right hand so that they can cross that invisible line and um, maybe have the paint where they can pull the paint over here to paint on their paper right here in front of them. Um, the possibilities are endless with the paint, things that you can do. The key is just to have fun. So um, enjoy your time at home painting and seeing what kind of creations you can come up with. And we will see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.